Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we're going to be reacting to a different comedian this time around, Marlon Wyans. I think he's the guy from Little Man. I think that was the name of the movie. It'd be shocking if it isn't because I've, I saw that film a few times and White Chicks as well, I believe was another one they did. His comedy this time around is on, I would have slapped Will Smith in return. People are having a fun time with this wheel business, isn't it? All right. Without any further ado, let's go. People always ask me, what if that was you? And my answer is, come on, man. I'm never going to slap Chris Rock at the Oscars. Huh? Cause you ain't talking about the other shit. Nah, I'm not even gonna entertain that stupid shit, bro. You fucking crazy? You gonna slap me at the Oscars? And then this nigga turn his back and walk off like he an action hero. I said, nigga, you gonna turn your back on me? I'd have jumped right on that nigga back. <laughs> The cover of every magazine is Chris Rock getting slapped. Fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. That ain't gonna be it. I'm sorry. He could be bigger than me, Ali, all that bullshit. I'm gonna fuck. I'm, I'm dirty. Oh, yeah. You gonna slap me and have me looking like Kid Quick from Punch Out? I'm sorry. That ain't gonna be the headline. Will Smith slap Small and Wayne's at the Oscars. No. So we Will Smith slap Small and Wayne's at the Oscars. Then Small and Wayne's proceeds to bite Will Smith's dick off. <laughs> you see me on the cover of Time magazine like that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> gonna slap me and then turn his back with two women holding statues, gold statues. Those aren't awards anymore. Those are weapons. I'll be like, excuse me, sis. Nigga, you'll get this Oscar earlier. Yeah. I'm sorry. We have a saying in the black community. On site. Yeah. On site. You gonna sit there the whole fucking award show? Nigga, after you slap me? No, nah, nigga, we on site means every time I see you, we are fighting until I win. Until I win, you'll be cool. I mean, I'm taking something from you. I'm taking something you need, nigga. An eye, a tooth, a kid, a testicle, something going. You'll sit there the whole world. I'd fight this motherfucker every commercial break. And we'll be back with the Oscars in five, four, Three, two. Nigga, you gonna hit me in front of the peanut motherfucker? <laughs> I hit, hit right behind that nigga. I've been trying to get him in the hole. And we're back with the Oscars in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Every chance I get, you gonna stay there the whole award, the whole fucking award show. I'm sitting in the crowd. I'm gonna wait until, wait for my opportunity. It's gonna happen sooner or later. I'm gonna sit there in the crowd, waiting for him to get his Oscar. I'll be patient, I'll just be waiting there the whole time. Like, oh, yo, this is crazy, yo, yo, we're about to win this shit. Yo, I hope Will win, right? I hope Will, yo, fingers crossed. Come on, Will, right, yeah. And best actor goes to, Will Smith, oh yeah, all right. Nigga, you out there? <laughs> you ain't even fun to Tyler and Denzel, nigga. You will have changed the game for me. Oh, right. Wanna know why? It's food. Whoa. Super fast and super healthy, but it's more than that. It's also knowing that in less than 30 seconds, You crazy nigga, crazy. I'm going to all the parties. I'm gonna wait in line. 
I'll be a Telemundo telecaster. I don't do it. I don't say it. I don't know. 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 I I don't like what the position that he put Tony Rock in. Let me tell you something. Before I'm a comedian, before I'm an actor, before I'm a producer, before I'm a writer, I'm a son, I'm a father, and I'm a brother. I die for any one of those fucking titles. Don't fuck with my family. Period. the world would hit me. I'm sorry. There's too many niggas in my family. We ain't a family. We a fucking gang, nigga. There's the Crips, the Bloods, and the Wayans. What the fuck you think this W for? That shit ain't for West Side. That's why I ain't tang all fucking day. <laughs> that nigga Will would've hit me. <laughs> Sean with a zip line then. <laughs> Old ass Keenan and Damon flying in like pterodactyls. <laughs> 2,000 nephews coming like pigeons. <laughs> We'd have grabbed Will by his ears. Get him, nigga. Contact, motherfucker! <laughs> my nephews, oh, I had all my nephews surround Jaden. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Put the dress on, little bitch, put the dress on! <laughs> nah, put him in the Batman costume, put him in the Batman costume! <laughs> and Jada, shit, we got something for Jada too. You think you bald now? <laughs> I got four fat black sisters. <laughs> That y'all never heard of. We keep them bitches in cages for special emergencies like this. Bonnie, a violent Deidre, and Nadia and Devon. They love to pull hair. That's their go-to move. They would have sat her down at the park bench and stapled hair in her head and pulled her ass all over Hollywood. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Like, what about Willow? And y'all, like, what about Willow? Leave the girl. Let somebody tell the tale. <laughs> I will say this, Will Smith owed Chris Rock an apology in that moment. The quicker you get to I'm sorry, the quicker we can heal. Like even if you, I know you're worth a couple hundred million dollars and you got too much pride and ego to be like, I'm sorry. Just hit him with a, my bad. So, <laughs> black folks, we don't understood that. He specifically said, sorry. <laughs> but I was mad he didn't apologize, that man, deserve an apology. You apologize to everybody except Chris? Come on, bro. I was so mad at Will, I wanted to jump him with Chris when that shit happened. I thought it was unfair. And I text Rock, you okay? What city is your face in? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't apologize to that man, that shit hurt me. He owed Chris an apology. And if you're gonna double down on your ignorance then not apologize, then fuck it. Don't apologize to nobody. So don't do no apology. The next day, do a fucking press conference, call it sorry, not sorry. It'd be like LeBron James when he went from Cleveland to Miami. I'm sending black kids to college on scholarships. And I'm telling the world, I'm gonna show up, black suit, white shirt, like I'm going to the Oscars, black tie, and I pull up and be like, yo. <clears throat> so, I wanna start by saying, Sorry, not sorry. I don't give a fuck. I'm rich. Y'all can suck my dick down to the stick part. To my brother Chris Rock, yeah, I slapped you. So what? Say something else. I slap you again, pussy. I don't give a fuck. I'm a real nigga. I slap Chris Rock, Tony Rock, The Rock, Fraggle Rock. I don't give a fuck. To my wife, Jada. I love you. Bitch, if you ever have another entanglement again, I swear to God, I'm fucking you up. That red table's gonna be your blood, bitch. I 
I slapped that nigga face because he looked like Arthur Alcina. He looked like that motherfucker. <laughs> Matter of fact, we ain't never saying the word August again. We taking that shit. August don't exist in the calendar. We going June, July, September. I want to say to the Academy, fuck y'all. How you gonna give these awards for fucking King Richard? I didn't deserve for that shit. Me talking like Buckley. I deserve that shit for fucking pursuit of happiness. I deserve that shit for Ali. I deserved it for six degrees of separation. When I kiss that white boy, I can still taste this. Man, he's holding my mouth. I want to say to all my white fans, all my white fans, ha ha, fooled you niggas, I'm black. My name's not Ward Smith, it's Will Smith. Pronounce with two F's like the gun. Smith. <laughs> and lastly, I'm a real nigga, so on the immortal roads of my nigga Loke Dog from Don't Be a Menace. Y'all suck my dick, lick ass. G's up, hoes down. Good night, bitches. Okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because of how <laughs> he goes all in. Okay, I watched the Chris Rock one. I've not seen the whole thing, but I've seen the one that I reacted to. I think there was a longer version of that. But the bit that he specifically spoke about which is the bit he specifically spoke about Chris or rather Will <sighs> yes he said some stuff but I don't think he went in as deep as this guy's gone in and yes when the slap did happen everybody was talking about it and you just kind of think isn't it that Imagine if it was somebody else, how they would have reacted. And imagine if it was somebody he knew that he would not have stood a chance against. Would he have just sat back, swallowed his pride, and then go home and deal with the argument that comes with that? It's a tricky one, isn't it? The most important thing is we can never... We can never play down how well Chris handled that. And for him to wait all of that time, then come back a year later to then vent his frustration and all of that. Yes, there was a lot of talk, but I strongly believe that both of them fighting in front of the cameras would not have made a good spectacle. And that's you lowering yourself to the standard of the person that's behaved appallingly. appallingly. So uh, I think, again, I would say you don't let the character of somebody else define you. You've got your own identity. Let that be what people see and be true to yourself. And I think Chris was true to himself in the way he managed that. All right. Ah, gosh, this thing is still going. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this because I did. If you like what we're all about, please like, subscribe, and join our community. Until next time, you guys, make sure you look after yourself and you stay safe. It's been Kings. Peace. Bye for now.